we're gonna try it this way. Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back. As you can see, we're going to uh, try going out again and uh, it is cold. It is cold. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we're going to try it. It is currently 21 or maybe 27 degrees. The wind chill is uh, down to 21. Winds are from the south, south, east at oh five, seven miles an hour. I normally wouldn't uh, be doing this. I think we're back on the road again. Alright, let's uh, see if we got it. <laughs> I think my chain froze up. But anyways, it's uh, the wind chill is down to 21. can see it's snowing now we uh, we did this route we're gonna try to do the same route again we're gonna be going into the wind here because the south southeast wind now this time and uh, it's snowing but this ain't the big stuff. It's supposed to start snowing about 6 o'clock this evening. It's a quarter after 1 right now on Thursday, the uh, 21st. And uh, let me see this church here on the left so you got a little bit of a breeze coming down I've got some extra extra jacket on today I think this might be <laughs> the last ride that we're going to be able to do in quite a while. This is probably going to be the most brutal portion of the ride going into the wind here and once we get down to the uh, highway down here 
we'll be going, uh, we'll have the wind to our back a little bit. So yeah, I got gloves on. <laughs> this is probably the first time I've had gloves on in years. And I was contemplating whether or not I want to even go out, but I figure if I don't go out, it's going to be at least uh, a week or two after we get this snow. How much snow do you think? Uh, well, let's start off with the easy one. Starting uh, today through tomorrow morning, we'll probably end up with three to six inches of snow on the ground. And then there's a lull in the action. And uh, the big stuff comes Sunday to Tuesday. Uh, we're uh, they're still expecting a storm total of over two feet of snow. Yeah. So this is going to be unreal. Unreal. But it'll be all right. All right, so we're coming down to the main highway here. Kind of slow down a little bit. Oh, there's one vehicle there. Most of these vehicles are uh, uh, post postal trucks delivering mail. Alright. Clear. And let's uh Oh, this might be going into the wind. Well, yeah, tomorrow we leave in the afternoon from here to uh, Glenwood, which on a normal dry day would be about an uh, hour and a half drive. But being that it's going to be uh, snowing, or the snow should be just about over. So, uh, it may not too, be too bad, but you never know. <laughs> This is definitely the coldest I've ever ridden an e-bike, huh? So, uh, it's helping that I'm pedaling. A couple days ago, we, we took the same route and we went counterclockwise. This way, this, we're doing the same route, but we're going to do clockwise. Where 
There's more traffic on the road today. I definitely see some of the water is freezing up again. Like I say, this would be a really nice uh, bike ride if it was Well, I can't believe how many cars are out this time A couple days ago, we already saw a soul This should be our uh, our turn coming up here to the right, which is we're halfway there. This is uh, County Road Two, also known as Roads. Rhodes Avenue, Northwest, I think it was. Oh, we're halfway home. Not bad. Looks like we're still recording. We're going three miles. Fingers are starting to get cold, even though I got gloves on. These are basically work gloves. I think this uh, riding clockwise on this route is actually a little bit easier, I think. <clears throat> Not too many. Uh, hills to climb up but yeah look at that snow this is just going to be mainly snow flurries but I don't think we're going to go into the county park like we did a couple days ago we're just going to try to keep on moving. I got another car coming up behind me. probably saying what the hell is this guy what's he doing riding out when it's 27 degrees and the wind chill is 21 and the only reason I decided to go today is the wind 
was only five miles an hour compared to uh, what was it 20 21 miles an hour the other day Well, I finally figured out why my DJI mic, when I did the playback on it, was, was had no audio. I kind of did uh, some internet searching and watched some YouTube videos regarding the no video, and. Uh, I almost missed it, but one guy told told me of the little issue, and I had to replay it twice. And uh, let me back up a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit. The DJI mic is supposed to work out pretty good. The only flaw it has in it right now is if you use your iPhone as the, like I do, for your camera, it's not compatible with the native camera on your phone. So you have to download a uh, third party app. Hey dogs. You have to load, download the third-party app to use the DJI. So I did that, and uh, when I did that, all of a sudden I said, "Well, what's what's going on? You know, I can't hear anything when you play back the video." Alright, here's where we're going to be turning on our final street. Back to gravel road again. So, anyways, I finally found this little snippet of the guy that was doing a review on it. And he uh, he mentioned that yeah if you're not seeing your or not hearing your audio try turning off the Bluetooth. And I said what? You know because it this is a wireless that works on the Bluetooth. So I turn it off, and lo and behold the. Uh, I could hear the audio. I said, wow. So, I did a couple different experiments with it. One, I, I just, I turned the audio, the uh, Bluetooth off in the settings on the iPhone. And I got some hills coming up here. And, uh, it worked. I'm going to downshift here. And uh, so I thought, okay, that's interesting. So I turned it back on, turn, got the uh, microphone working again. And then I tried uh, turning the microphone off, so it disconnected uh, the Bluetooth. And uh, turned the video back on again, and it 
I could hear it again. So, I'm hoping that that's, we found the issue because like unlike the last uh, video, I had to do a uh, voiceover. Alright. Get my speed going here. So yeah, I think we found the, uh, the reason. Oh, it's hard to... Too bad. We got uh, one little guy almost backed up into me. He's probably, what the hell is that guy doing on a bike when it's 27 degrees? Oh, he's going the other way. And the wind chill is 21. Yeah, so my fingertips are getting cold. Right. Going downhill now. We can coast for a little bit. Just got to make sure we don't uh, go too fast and spin out. Well, this is a pretty good sized hill here. I didn't know that. I was going up the other way. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're, we've gone five and a half miles, so we got about another mile to go. I set up a uh, trail camera in the backyard of the place I'm staying. And I finally got some deer. Oh! I'm gonna have to put the picture of the deer. Show you, I had about six of them come yesterday or last. Yeah, yesterday, right before dark. Oh, here's our driveway. All right, that was good. Wow, we're not gonna make it up the hill. So let's see how far we get. I'm worried about tomorrow, three to five inches. The, uh, last people that were here yeah we're not going to make it up this hill let's uh, stop it here all right yeah the uh, last people that were here they uh, I think she said they were from Korea, and they flew into uh, Minneapolis and rented a Tesla. Well, she said they came down the hill here, and they hit that tree and totaled the Tesla. Oh, wow. This is a this is a burner. Even the little hills are oh, powerful. 
Let's uh, all right, we finally made it back. And uh, when we get uh, back inside, we're gonna get warmed up and uh, and go ahead and fold the bike up and put it away but uh, appreciate you coming along and uh, Lord knows when we'll see you again but adios